Hey everyone, in my previous video I built this 2U TrueNAS server to store my Chia plots. Unfortunately, just due to the nature of how TrueNAS works, it's not really ideal for my situation. So today I'm going to be reinstalling this with Ubuntu Server and Merger FS, which is essentially a file system that can take existing drives with their own file systems and merge them into what appears to the operating system as just one large drive similar to the way that Unraid works, but natively this doesn't come with any sort of parity. Which is fine for me, since I don't really mind if I lose a drive, because I can just create more plots. And the parity that would be used is just wasted space in terms of Chia plots. Now I could have achieved similar with TrueNAS by putting all the drives into a striped array, but if one drive out of that array failed, I would have lost the whole array. With Merger FS, if one of the drives fails, I just lose the data on that drive and the rest of the drives are unaffected. I could achieve the exact same thing with Unraid just by not selecting a parity disk, but I didn't want to spend the money on a license for Unraid when I don't need all the additional features and web interface that that comes with and all I need is the, you know, the pooled file system and I can do all the Docker stuff and things like that myself. One other thing that I'm going to take this opportunity to do is to replace the RAM in here because I only had RGB RAM last time and now I've got some standard RAM. So I'm going to do that as well. Okay, I'm going to take the RAM out and put the new RAM in. It's just some standard Corsair Vengeance. I think it's a 16 gig set. this away. Okay, I'm gonna get Ubuntu Server installed on this and then we'll jump into the installation of MergerFS. Okay, so the server's back in the rack. I've gone ahead and set up a static IP, set up my SSH preferences, so the first thing I want to go ahead and do here is install MergerFS. Now I could install this from the Ubuntu repository, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be outdated from the latest version. 2.28.1 and the latest version is 2.32.4. So yeah, it's best to install this manually. So I can go ahead and get the latest version from their GitHub. Download it. Ubuntu Focal AMD64. Focal is uh, Ubuntu 20.04, which is what I'm running on. And then we can just go ahead and install that. Nothing really to configure at this stage, it just goes ahead and installs. So we can carry on and get our drives ready. So we can see our drives listed here. The only one we don't want to touch is SDB, which is where our operating system is installed. Now we can go ahead and format the drives and these are apparently the preferred settings for storing Chia plots. And I'll do that for the other eight drives. And then we can get the unique IDs for the drives that we just formatted so that we can set them up to auto mount. And then we can do that with FS tab. So UUID equals oh, mount HDD1 file system ext4 defaults 00. zero. So this is just the standard way to mount drives. And I'll do it for the other eight. Now we have all nine drives ready to be auto mounted. Go ahead and save that. Next I need to make a place for these to be mounted to. Make directory HDD1. And I'll do that for all nine drives. And then I'll also do that 
for our storage pool that we're about to set up. Now that we have all our mount points created, our drives formatted, we can go ahead and set up MergerFS, which again we do from FS tab. Go down the bottom, we can add a new line. So we want to mount all of the hard drives. So we do HDD asterisk, and that will select all of the mount points that start with HDD in that folder. And we want to mount it to storage. And we're using fuse merger FS. So there's a lot of options for merger FS when you're mounting a pool. Now I'm not entirely sure what all of these options do, but they seem to be the best default settings for this. But these are all documented on the GitHub page for MergerFS. So if you want to dive into finding out what each of these options do and what would be best for your setup, then you can do it there. So we have defaults and I think that loads the default options for mounting. Non-empty, this allows, um, I think this allows using non-empty drives. Allow other allows other users on the system to see this mounted uh, pool. Use INO is something from the documentation that they said was recommended about the way files are stored on the pool. Cache files off. The docs don't really explain this very well, but I think it might have something to do with file duplication. Move on Eno space. True. This setting means that if a file copy fails because there's not enough space on the drive it was copying to, then it will try again on another drive. Drop cache on close, true. I think this is redundant since we have that cache file set into off, but this will tell the operating system to stop caching a file if we stop reading it. Min free space. I've set this to 110 gigabytes, so it won't start copying a file to a drive unless there's at least 110 gigabytes free, which is just over how big one of the K32 chia plots is. And FS name just sets the name of the file system. There's no reason to change this. Yeah, so we can just save that. sudo mount all f-h and we can see everything mounted. So we can try and create a file. Permission denied, okay. So sudo change mod uh, 777, that'll do. Recursive, all the hard drives and storage too. And we'll try and create a test file again. We can see the test file there. All right, and we see 66T, which is technically tebibytes, which is around 72 terabytes. So it's using all of the drives. And I'm also gonna go ahead and install Duff as well, which is a great little utility. So we can see all our drives mounted here and it even picks up the uh, merger FS mounts. Okay, so now I wanna create a Samba share so that I can share that storage pool with my network so that my plotters can send their files to this server. So I'm gonna install Samba and let's configure it. All right, I'm just gonna leave work group as work group I think I can skip over most of that. Uh, I'm gonna comment out all of that nonsense. And then I'm gonna create a share called Chia. Valid users, Chia. Browsable, yes. Writable. Writable, yes. Read only, no. I think that's all we need. Save. 
we start? Okay, and now we need to add my user to Samba. New Samba password. Okay, so a separate password from the actual user account. And I can access and see that test file we created earlier and delete it. Awesome. So I'm going to reboot the server and make sure everything auto mounts and starts properly. Alright, and the server restarted. Everything's mounted and I can still access the shared folder. One other big reason I wanted to move away from TrueNAS was because it's BSD based, not Linux. Which means if I wanted to run Docker, I'd have to do it from within a VM, which on an i3, I really didn't want to do. Alright, so that's it. Everything's up and running now. And I'm going to start moving my Chia plots off of my Unraid server onto this server. Maybe I'll probably get to use TrueNAS sometime in the future. But for this use case, it just wasn't ideal. And I feel much better with just Ubuntu Server and MergerFS, especially since I can just run Docker natively, which I plan to run the Chia Farmer in a Docker container on here. I might make a video of installing a Chia Farmer in Docker on Ubuntu Server, so if you're interested in that, please let me know. And I have another video in the works of me building a new Chia Plotter, so stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching.